Welcome to a new episode on Chairling's channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of rudiments of Asian and African music. Join us on this melodic journey as we explore the rich and diverse musical traditions from Asia and Africa. From the rhythmic beats of African drums to the intricate melodies of Asian instruments, we'll uncover the unique characteristics that make these musical traditions so captivating. Discover the ancient origins of Asian and African music and how they have evolved over time, shaping cultures and societies along the way. Let's learn about the different scales, modes, and rhythmic patterns that form the backbone of these enchanting musical genres. So, tune in and embrace the harmonious fusion of sounds from two continents. Don't forget to grab your headphones and immerse yourself in the melodies that connect us all. Like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on this musical adventure. Let's celebrate the universal language of music together. First of, let me present to you the unique rhythmic and melodic aspects of selected Asian countries in this lesson. The first aspect is linearity. It is an emphasis on melodic tension and release supported by or held in further tension by rhythmic devices. This explicates that this aspect of Asian music takes itself into different heights by not going into the trend of the West in a West-style melody and linear harmony or harmonic orientation. Second is, transparency on the other hand, is making each vocal or instrumental timbre heard no matter how large the ensemble is. Transparency in East Asian music intends to emphasize the lines of the melody or timbre to make it easier to understand. In Western music, for example, in an orchestral orientation, the intention is always to create a one-shaped sound or one musical color. That is where the beauty lies in West music, which is opposite to East music. Third, word orientation. It is the nature of Asian music to love of nature and secrecy to the divinity. How are these discussions valuable in this lesson? These has offered lots of realization on why rhythm and melody of the traditional Asian are far different from the music that we are used to hearing. Next is the presentation of rhythm and melody in Asian music. The scale used in each country affects a lot in the tonal system of every composition or music practice in a certain region. In Asia, there is a lot of scale pattern present. The archipelago nature of Southeast Asia, a compact landmass of Central West and East Asia says a lot in the variety of musical atmosphere present in the region. To fully understand the melodic nature of Asian music, we will focus on the different scales used in Asian countries. But let me begin with a diatonic scale that is very popular with us and to fully understand the succeeding discussions. One, the chromatic scale. Here is a chromatic scale that has 13 tones arranged in diatonic intervals. Based on studies, composers overuse the scale. Two, major pentatonic scale. This Pythagorean scale is widely used. You can play the scale in any pitch with consideration to preserve the interval order. The 
The minor pentatonic scale. It is said that the minor pentatonic scale uses the same notes as major pentatonic, but in a different order. So the minor pentatonic is a five note scale consisting of the first, third, fourth, fifth, and seventh notes of the natural minor scale. So in the key of A minor, this is the minor pentatonic scale. Three, an Arabic scale. It has the same beginning as the diatonic, which is C. However, the Arabic scale has an interval of four semitones, which is illustrated below. The sound created by these intervals has a non-Western feel and has a presence of exoticism. Four, Indian or whole tone scale, an equal interval scale. Normally, an equal interval scale sounds like rubbish, but here's an Indian equal interval scale that sounds musical. It has a dreamlike, fanciful quality, almost surreal. Five, Hungarian Gypsy Roma scale. And finally, to get your blood a boiling, here's the Hungarian minor scale, better known as the Hungarian Gypsy scale or Hungarian Roma scale. In the discussion earlier, we understand that what makes East music unique is its core tone, which is the different scales instigated in it. Now let's have the rhythm in Asian music. This is one of the unique aspects of Asian music. Most of their traditional music practices have a variety of rhythm patterns, syncopations, and complex pulse. One, Tala, tala is the in India. Of cycle in Indian music. There are many different talas consisting of basic patterns of 6, 7, 8, 10, 12 beats, and many more. Today, we'll familiarize ourselves with the most common North Indian tala of 16 beats, known as tintal. Okay, let's learn the form of tintal so that we can sing and play the melody we learned in video two within the cycle of 16 beats and experience the integration of the elements of raga and tala together. Now I'm going to recite what is called the teka, the basic rhythmic pattern, and then count the beats and follow that by playing that pattern on tabla. Da din din da da din din da da din din na na din din da one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen da din din da da din din da da din din da da din din da da. Now, instead of thinking of this rhythmic pattern in a linear way, we want to sense it more as a circle, or more precisely, a cycle. So let's try to visualize this rhythm as a wheel. Sometimes I like to think of it as a clock with 16 hours, but the one is at the top of the clock where 12 noon or midnight would be. Beat one is called sum and is notated with an X and shown with a clap of the hands. Sum means to come together and it's the strongest beat of the cycle. The counterpoint of sum is called Kali, which means empty. In Tintal, the 16 beat cycle, a Kali lands on beat nine, which is halfway through the cycle. We notate Kali with a circle and show it with an open hand. So we can think of Tintal as having its own dynamic shape. The sum being a strong beat, and the kali a weaker beat. When we internalize the tala, the sum and the kali help us know where we are in the rhythmic cycle. We need to know that sum is beat one and is shown with a clap, and that kali is beat nine, and we identify it with an open-handed wave. 
On beats five and 13, we also clap. So our cycle becomes four bars of four, four. Clap on beat one, clap on beat five. Then we wave on beat nine, the khali, and clap again on beat 13. Each time that cycle of 16 comes around to beat one, we have this event called sum, to come together. So let's try keeping the tala. You'll often see connoisseurs of Indian music doing this at concerts. Now keep the tala with us by either clapping or waving your hand at the appropriate downbeat of each bar. I'm gonna play the teka, the basic pattern, two times. Single speed and two times double speed. Here we go. Da ding ding da 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 da two Japanese drum culture. Three, Joe Nga Jong from the Cordillera region, Philippines.
African hand drumming. to recognize that the melodies and rhythms we've discussed today are not just musical elements. They are windows into the cultures and histories of these regions. They connect generations, bridge gaps, and celebrate the diversity that defines our world. As we conclude this discussion, we encourage you to keep exploring the vast musical landscapes of Asia and Africa. Dive deeper into the intricacies of different genres, instruments, and vocal styles. Thank you once again for joining us. We hope this discussion has sparked curiosity and a desire to learn more. Remember, music is a universal language that has the power to foster understanding and unity across cultures. Keep listening, keep learning, and keep celebrating the incredible melodies and rhythms that make our world so vibrant. If you enjoyed this discussion, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging conversations about music and culture from around the world. Until next time, stay curious and keep the music alive.